Alright, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content. And let's get right into it. NBA 2K23, man. Listen, man. Hey, I know a lot of people are saying stuff like, I'm so happy that the steals are next. I can't lose the ball. I can just do whatever I want to now. I can't nobody can take the ball from me. I'm such a great player. Shut the f up. Shut the f up. Bro, if it takes them actually removing a defensive mechanic from the game for you to actually be able to hold the ball. And I'm not telling you that steals didn't need to be touched or overpowered or whatever. It really don't matter to me, man. Our defense is about staying in front of people and um, it's predicated on staying in front of people and, and stealing the ball out the air. The only problem that I got with it now, I will tell you after this. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video and comment Bulldogs down below for obvious reasons. All right, that's gonna do two things for y'all. Number one, Every single Friday, we give away $50 in VC Cash App or we give away um, a copy of a video game, whichever your choice. Archangel, I got you, my dog. I, I, I forgot. I, I got you right after this video. I got you, G. Uh, so that's that's every single Friday we do that. Uh, number two, this is the more important one. If we can average 8K views and YouTube is doing a great job of trying to keep us from doing that uh, because of the last two things or whatever, I don't know, man. It is what it is. Video started out one on one, ended 10 to 10. It, it is what it is. But anyway, listen, uh, we can average 8K views. We're going to be giving away a next gen console, whether it be an Xbox, a PlayStation, or um, or 500 bucks, or uh, we'll give away a laptop, something like that, whatever y'all want. Last but not least, the bots are down. Now, make sure y'all ignore the bots. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, and the Tiki Taki. Make sure y'all hit me up on the Tiki Taki. We're trying to get to a thousand so we can stream over there. And with all that out of the way, good morning, out there, 2K land, man. Also, man, like I said, uh, I don't know where my headphones, where my headphone case at, man. Anyway, these doggone joints right here, the Soundcore headphones, uh, earbuds, they are so dope. I'm thinking away, thinking about just giving away a copy of that one of these this week, man. These joints allow you to be able to, and this ain't no sponsored video. I just think it's a good, a very good product. Um, they let you be on your computer or your PlayStation and your phone at the same time. So if somebody calls you, you can take the call and you don't even gotta quit quit what you're doing, especially with 2K when we don't even listen to none of that stuff, bro. You could be on Discord or uh, you could be on there and be on, you could be hearing what's happening on the game, on Call of Duty 2K, whatever, and you can be in Discord on your phone at the same time. Just think about that, that's so dope. Or you can be uh, playing the game of 2K and then somebody call you and you can take the call, but you can still hear us say, hey, back door, back door. Anyway, I, I think it's dope, man. If y'all think I should give away a copy, a pair of those, man, y'all let me know. Maybe that's this week. Hey, but the first things first, I pop and freaks all the hundreds. That boy, that boy, hey, my, this is my guy right here, man. The GOAT problem, the GOAT right. Georgia by 30 tonight, or am I tripping? Because a lot of the pundits had Georgia. They actually had Georgia losing, bro. I don't even know why they, why they thought the game was going to be close. I guess they saw what had happened um, with, you know, when we played Ohio State and then what what uh, the 3-3-5 did to Michigan. And I was just like, the, the biggest weakness of the 3-3-5 is always running straight at it. If you play Madden or any level of football, the biggest weakness is like, like you got another athlete out there so you can keep them from passing. But it's like, bro, like the biggest weakness if you just run straight at it and Georgia's running game is too strong and then the defense was too strong. I know they didn't just think they were going to drop back and pass because the only way Ohio State won was because Ohio State, they they did a lot of misdirection and, and you know what I'm saying, almost almost trick plays. So it was just like, I don't even understand how anybody, and, and then they had a running quarterback. You got to do all of that. You got to be ahead and you got to have a running quarterback and then you'll have a chance to win. But that team was just too dominant, too strong. If y'all heard the Kirby Smart, um, the Kirby Smart uh, pregame speech. I was ready to go run through a wall for him right there. But hey, that boy, my boy KU, man, this, this is one of my guys for like the last 10 years or so, man. He said, oh, oh, longer than 10 years. Anyway, uh, yeah, 2011, so 12 years. Hey, he says, we talking about a horned frog versus a bulldog. Come on now. I'm saying UGA by 30. And then um, my homeboy, hey, 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 you know, they call me man, Louisiana kid. That's who y'all y'all know, know him as. And he says, um, he says, this is why TCU and Michigan upset made me so mad. This was a waste of time. And he ain't lying about it, man. Hey, it wasn't a waste of time, but T was like, I'm about to get off the game. And he was like, yo, I'm about to get off the game. I'm about to do this. I'm about to do that. And then I was like, uh, next thing I know, T was back on the game. He never got off. And the reason he never got off was because the game was really never in question, I guess, is, uh, you know, what we're trying to say, man. But, hey, it is what it is, man. Hey, big shout-out to them guys. TCU Horn Falls put up a good fight, but 
it's just too strong. It's levels to it, man. Hey, but look though, let me ask y'all a question before we get to the to the meat of the joint, bro. Look, hey, look at this, man. So I made these joints, man. I kind of modified the joints from last year or whatever. So this one is the simple one, but this one is the more elaborate one. Which one y'all think, man? If y'all if y'all Bulldog fans or whatever, if y'all try to get one of these joints back to back. I don't know. I'm gonna work on some more stuff. I'm gonna work on some more mock-ups, but y'all let me know. Now to the meat of what we're here for today, man. And uh, yo, that boy Kai, he says, 2K is falling, is falling so fast that these dudes on Twitch who always own 2K are on Fortnite or Multiverses. And uh, yeah, some of the, uh, <laughs> hey, Nate just laughed at that, man. And a lot of people just saying, yo, the game is over. It's pretty dead. Nobody really wants to play it. And it's, I think it's because of all the changes and stuff. And I think, we, yeah, look, y'all might wonder why. It's just a name. Y'all like that. It's just a name. It's just a name. Why does it suck the fun out of the game? I don't know why, but I feel like my dude is 0.28% is less effective defensively as a 3 and D point than he was when he was the claw man i ain't gonna lie it was just it was just fun to have a, a good name i don't even know why that was entertaining why it was fun i can't tell you but it was something that i enjoyed and i don't tell you how to enjoy what you enjoy so don't don't tell me how to enjoy what i enjoy i just enjoyed it i liked being the claw man i don't know it didn't it didn't impact my player one bit it didn't do anything i don't know why it was fun to me it just is and that's why some of the people are elated because they still got to keep theirs so it's all good uh but anyway and i'm not gonna tell y'all who got to keep theirs because i ain't no snitch right anyway hey that boy power said i heard they passed a patch there was a patch of something uh anything important or stuff i don't care about and uh you know like we said man the main thing that they patched was the steals and stuff like that and um uh, the guy dying work, he says uh, free throws definitely got touched. So I don't know if the free throws got touched in a good way, bad way, any way like that. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Uh, did they get touched? Are they harder? Are they easier now? Or what, man? Hey, that guy Chrissy T says, wait, 2K nerf steals? I'm done. You know he just sitting there like, bro, listen. We all know that the steals got nerfed. They got touched. It is what it is. Hey, we just play. We just gonna be back to 2K22 when nobody can lose the ball, no matter how bad they are now. And now you're gonna see the six ones. It's gonna be the birth. Mark my words right now, today, January 10th, 2023. The the birth of the six ones is gonna be back, and the six nines are gonna be worse than ever because you can't take the ball from anybody anymore, as far as I can see right now. Uh, I haven't even played the game. I'm gonna be honest with you, because I was super busy yesterday, and the game came. All uh, the game was on, but from what I'm seeing and what NBA 2K Lab did, bro, you can't even take the ball from somebody. They had a dude out there with 65 ball handling, and uh, they were trying to back tap him with no unpluckable. They couldn't even do it. So hey, it, it's gonna be tough, man. Hey, that guy Dyer said, hey, the 99 steal people are saying I now actually gotta play D. I always thought that was funny when people say they gotta actually play D, cause y'all sit there and like the dribblers and just all that. I mean, y'all sit there and cry and complain and all that good stuff well, about the y'all don't y'all don't sat there and about adrenaline all year and and how you can't do this, how you can't do that. It ain't no moves in the game, all this and that. But then we love to. We love to be joyful with, when they take a part of somebody else's game away, man. I, I mean, I just think that's, I, I think that's lame. I think that's lame as hell to be like that. It just is what it is. Hey, just play the game. Like we didn't sit there and say, well, you know what? A lot of the community, I take it back. A lot of the community did say, hey, now y'all gonna have to learn how to dribble, learn how to do this, learn how to do that and all that. When, you know, when the adrenaline, y'all can't just spam left, right and all that anymore. So a lot of the community did do that. So, hey, I guess it's well-deserved. It is what it is. That boy, Laker fan, you already know the most vocal guy on the thing. He said, the only way you were ever getting plucked uh, by steals is having gold or below unpluckable going to the Hall of Fame glove. I refuse to listen to an argument otherwise. But hey, I'm just a 6'9 playing lock and pro am with silver glove anyway. I don't have stuff. I mean, it don't it don't give stuff uh, help me anyway. So I guess he was saying it don't really help me anyway. And the dude said the back that the back tap was kind of ridiculous. It bailed out bad defense. Uh, I think a, I think a mistimed steal attempt should be punished way more like putting players out of position uh you know like actual basketball and then so to do so our, Le our laker fan comes back and says so what makes you think that if someone is already behind you and went for a steal they'd fail at it that uh that they're that wait that they aren't punished for it okay that they already behind you they, they, they aren't punished for it they're gonna be left in the dust 
by you like eight feet doing something doing something like that that's a fact bro i don't know they said that some people were actually letting people just run by them and they just back tapping and i think that this was this was the dude was trying to say next year's like i think the main problem with it was bombs wouldn't even play defense and primarily play uh for steals which was annoying because i, I because i just have to play play to run away and score quick uh from bots with high steel don't stop me they didn't stop me from winning games but i didn't enjoy it as much and like we said though bro like we said like and he said that's on current gen right there and again we're talking about the way that you enjoy the game versus the way somebody else enjoys the game maybe they enjoyed the game by just spamming and stealing because i don't think it's going to do anything for people just spamming and, and trying to steal the ball out of the air and stuff like that but i mean i didn't really see like if you got on if you had how unpluckable on i didn't really see that happening that much like if a big was running up the court and i had the and i had the angle behind him i'm 100 percent going for the back tap i don't think that they're gonna let uh let that happen anymore and now y'all gotta let me know if that's still happening right there hey one uh uh white full white says i believe you i believe you can only uh play top tier defense without i believe that you can only play top tier defense without relying on plucks and steals that much but because it all because it was all because it was op many locks forget how to play proper defense and only spam square the whole game and got rewarded and then like i said anything that you say we can reverse it and say i mean i feel like you what if i feel like you can only play top tier defense or you're i mean a top tier offense or you're only a top tier offender if you know how to control the ball and keep it away from other people what if i say that then it's like you, you understand what i'm saying so anything that we say can go both ways like like if you say well if you learn you need to learn how to play defense i can say well you just need to learn how to protect the ball so yeah hey it, it, it's all good baby it don't matter to me you know i'm talking about i'm rip city down here link down in the description go how that breeze tease man but uh so we keep going and another thing is how easy and cheap it is to get a 99 steal that's actually a misnomer anybody can get it but it costs you a lot from even from 95 to 99 or 97 to 99 it costs you a lot especially when you try to put on other stats try getting a 92 three ball and a 99 steal now and then having any other defensive stats and shooting like bro it's gonna be tough i'm telling you but but you know you'll be deficient in a lot of areas but hey i digress anyway another thing is how easy and cheap it is to get it's not cheap but it is easy uh to get a 99 steal and build uh, on bills compared to other stats it doesn't even have it doesn't even take a lot of your bill points it actually does but hey my argument isn't that you shouldn't compare hall that you shouldn't compare hall of fame glove and uh hall of fame badges that really cost a lot to have i mean i guess you could do that bro he said, he said my opinion is without like a fan says my opinion without having played the game yet i'm all i'm i'm all for the pluck nerf i suppose i don't really care that i don't really care see this is how i feel too i don't really care that much in the grand scheme of things but hall of fame unpluckable was already in impenetrable exactly now you're about to have dudes out there with 30 ball handling immune to back taps entirely and that's exactly what it is it's going to be just like that and uh 2k lab already showed it so i mean that's this is where we yes you really can't even steal the ball at all a guy that has no business dribbling the ball should not be dribbling the ball to trying to orchestrate the offense in any way shape form or fashion he has not invested those points in in his bill so why is he trying to run the offense or doing something why should he be protected by you know protected from his bad decisions but when i have invested a lot of stuff like that dude right there he sat there he's like a lot of people will say this right here i'm sitting here baiting this the entire way this guy the last few plays every single time he comes up the court uh he's done this if i even step you can see my curse yeah y'all can't if i even step down he dotted the corner every other time so what i did was i faked here because i know when he gets here this is when he starts dotting the corner and you're gonna see me as soon as that I'm going to fake it, and then now I'm going to bail out. And I'm already squarely in front of it before he even does it. But somebody, look at this. Look at this. I see he's in there. You see? Now I know he's going to throw it to the corner. I'm already standing there before he even goes into the animation. And I steal the ball. But somebody would say, I'm just in here spamming the button and all that good stuff. So like like I said, man, the things that y'all see and the things that we see are, are totally indifferent, are totally different. But hey again it's not gonna make me no big difference i just hate that i'm not gonna be able to make it like you are it's already hard to make people throw the ball but now you're not even gonna be able to speed anybody up or make them play offense any differently because they can just go straight into you because hall of fame unpluckable is is, is, is crazy and you can get it with 99 post control and a lot of people are gonna be doing that so 
hey, it is what it is. It doesn't make me no big difference. We play position defense anyway, and we try to make you just make bad shots uh, at the perimeter. But last but not least, man, this is something that I gotta, I gotta talk about too, man. Like I said, before we even start doing stuff like this, this is the stuff that I was saying that, that, that we need to be fixing before we fix other things. You're gonna see my guy, Easy Dubs. I'm just gonna let him take y'all away right here. Yeah, I'm gonna put his link down in the description too, man. But y'all check this out. How you teammate, lose? How am I losing teammate grade from getting a, a, a assist? You get an assist and you lose teammate grade. How how is that happening? But but hey, like we said, the low hanging fruit. Let's go ahead and go after names and let's go after stuff like that and let's uh nerf steals so I can't get into a the ground. Guy, but I can lose teammate grade for doing something good. That's crazy. You losing teammate grade for doing something That's good and crazy. And and hey, I thought that they was probably adding some stuff up at first and then you know he lost something but look he takes a shot boom teammate grade goes up now watch this it goes back down Whoa. well what brought it back down look there's nothing uh again hey at first you'd be like at first you think hey maybe it's because something from the last play but right here his teammate grade is no longer fluctuating at all nothing is going on pass the ball two hey. scores and then it goes back down See, like how am like, I like a quarter of his grade, grade or whatever a, like that a, a now uh, i don't know if that's something that, that they're using to correct things or what or like like he get he got too much and so they brought it back because you know they're trying to i don't know but all i know is stuff like that is in the game but we want to patch names that's that's all i'm saying man like i said we really don't care what they do because i'm gonna play the game and i'm gonna be better than most people at it anyway because it is what it is now that my guy right now all that means is my dude right here that's got 70 dribbling, I can go out there and literally play point guard with him because I don't have to worry about nobody stealing the ball from me ever again because I got unpluckable on. I got bronze. I think I can even get silver. I don't know what you can get at 70. Y'all will tell me in the comment section, but it is what it is. I don't, I don't even think it's a big deal to me. So now everybody can be a threat offensively. You don't have to think anymore when you dribble or do anything. And uh, everybody can score and get on that rim even better. So, hey, I'm all for it, man. It's going to make our team better. And like I said, we need to rely on that anyway. We relied on y'all to miss shots and stuff like that. Exactly like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, he hit that, you know, he just got me. But again, that just proves my point that, look, this all dude was doing. He just throw it to the corner. I tried to get the steal on that one, but hey, I couldn't. I think the next play, I, I straight up baited him though. So, you know, it, it was what it was. But hey, you see what our defense does, bro. We, we, we don't sit here and rely on steals or any of that. So, you know, people think that that's what we do, but if you come up the court and you do something silly uh, and you run into a double team, then yeah, you're gonna get the ball stolen, bro. It, it should happen. It is gonna happen. It is what it is. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Um, is it a W, is it a L? And I'm gonna holler at y'all next time, till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Gosh, baby. Gosh, baby.